Princess Casserole here, and I am here kind of quickly. I just popped on. I wanted to do, um, oops, <laughs> rookie mistake here. Just give me one sec. Ooh, triple. That was in triplicate. <laughs> that was a nice mistake. So, uh, Looks like I'm the only one here for now, um, but that's okay. Like I said, I just popped on. I didn't say anything, so uh, Sandy's on. I know she was on with uh, Selma earlier, and Swag. Like I said, I know I just popped on. It was Friday. It's nice. My daughter wants me to take her to the mall, so we're going to go to the mall soon. And she is kind of aggravated with me because <laughs> she said she was going to get ready. And you know how teenagers are with getting ready. I figured it would take her like an hour. So apparently not. So nice to see you guys, Sandy and Swag. Um, I'm just going to go through some things that I have found. I hope you guys can see me and hear me okay. I actually had turned this around a little bit so you guys could see the other end of my living room. So it's a little bit different of a setting here for us. Um, my TV and um, so we collect the brass ornaments, or uh, brass uh, things and also the ironwood as well so we have a couple of those here i've been on the lookout for them a lot and i don't see them that often and also paperweights too i have some paperweights there that i love hi sally um and the cat is apparently also here to no oh, she just ruined my shirt that's okay so I just wanted to share some of the things that I found recently, although she's licking me as I'm talking to you guys. It is weird. Hi, Nikki. So um, a lot of these are from Savers because um, it is my favorite place to go, and I go to Savers every day because I'm crazy. Hey, Cindy. Um, so I saw these. They were $4.99. And, oh, Dwayne, thank you. I did, I just got monetized. This is actually my first live video since I got the monetization, which is really exciting. Um, again, and Dwayne can tell you too, not that any of us do it for the money, but uh, it's just fun. You know, it's like, I love goals. So Dwayne and I were talking about getting the ambassador status on Poshmark. And for me, it's nothing else other than uh, that, I love goals. So, you know, it's kind of fun. It was, getting the monetization was a goal that I was working towards and I hit it. And so that was so awesome. And uh, so in case anyone else has a smaller channel, it seems like they are actually going through because a while they didn't, um, they weren't approving any applications and it was kind of sitting there for a really long time, even though I had met all the criteria. So, and I know I wasn't alone in that. Um, Nikki also had the same problem, but yeah, Nikki says that too. It seems like people are getting approved now. So if you guys have a smaller channel and you're getting close, cause I know some of you guys are Sally from Vintage Discoveries, I know it is uh, getting close to, but thank you, Dwayne. You're such a good friend. Dwayne is like the best friend in the world. He always thinks I I, uh, I do that for anything, but I don't, because I just love Dwayne and Heather. So anyway, this one was $4.99. My savers is great, but there's two. And the one, the lady, she takes the jewelry home, um, and she researches it so you usually can't find anything cheap there so and swag also has a channel and just sandy has a channel um i'm sure both of you guys and sally will um get to a thousand pretty quick so let's see you know these always choose when they want to focus so this is cool though uh it says on the back of this one, Espo, which I think is one of the bigger 
company is that does jewelry. Um, it's just like a distributor. 925CZ. Uh, so these are cubic zirconias. And I thought they were really neat for definitely for $4.99. Let's see. I'll put it closer, see if it wants to. Oh, there we go. And I know Sandy got a better um, Logitech thingy too. But yeah, these are really cool. They remind me of um, the one cross that I got that was in a jar. So, and then I saw this too. I took the thing off. I think this might have been $7.99. Um, but I don't like to leave the tags on because, um, you know, sometimes it can take the finish off of things. But I saw this sitting there and I thought it looked really nice. And that's the back. And so I asked to see it. I think it was $7.99. And you guys can see that in the back. It has, uh, yeah, I did, but it was upside down. <laughs> it has, there you go, you can kind of see it back here, the Brighton B. So this is most likely silver plated. So I'll just have to take a cloth and shine it up and it is huge and blingy but i thought that was really beautiful and i like i said i know it was under 10 so i think it was 7.99 so this one was beautiful i hope you all had a good fourth of july it was really really hot here um so there's no barbecuing or anything for me. I went to a local place we have here called Ted's and had my hot dog there because it was too hot to barbecue. So $3.99 for this one. And um, it says made in Mexico here. But I think this might be um, sterling. And there's another mark in here. And it's really weird. You guys probably aren't going to see it. I might put one on my Facebook. Um, but it's hard to read. It looks like a crown almost. Carol, thank you so much. Carol has a channel too. And I see you are really close um, to your thousand too, Carol. Even though <laughs> you say you, you do it just for fun, um, which I think is why everybody likes it, Carol, because um, you do just have fun on your channel. Um, and I know everybody loved your $250 jewelry jar, which I haven't seen one. And I have to say, if I saw one, Curiosity would probably get the better of me and I would probably get it as well. So Carol hates subs, so everybody go sub to Carol. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought this was really neat. It's kind of, um, it's not small. It's just because it's got the card there. Hey, Bianca. And I like, it's different, you know, with the little wraparound thingies. I don't know what they're called. These, these things. And I have, um, my daughter and I, we went to Niagara Falls, Canada uh yesterday so i have a vlog i'm going to be putting up too it's my first vlog um but i know some people live in canada that watch me and i always say how close we are to canada so i just wanted to put the vlog on there and show you guys where i grew up because i grew up in um around that area so and then i also see saw these <laughs> then yeah, Niagara Falls is really not far for me at all. Um, I saw these and I saw Mark and I had my husband get me more uh, loops so that I could carry one in my purse, but I didn't have it with me. And I saw, stop licking me. I saw um, markings on here, but I couldn't tell what they were. And also... My cat will not stop licking me. <laughs> uh, a good thing to check for 
is if the posts themselves are also like a gold color, if they are like a silverish color and the hoop itself is gold, it's probably not gonna be gold. Um, because if it's gold, obviously, sometimes just the posts themselves are, are gold because of people that have allergies. So, but this was $3.99. I looked at it and it did indeed say 14K. So they're just small. They're in a weird spot here. Let me take it off too. And there's like a heart and it said like OG or something. It was really strange. Um, it's actually marked in two places here and also on the post itself. So a lot of times you will see it, it'll be marked in more than one place. So I still have to do uh, that video too on markings, um, but I might wait until I get some things that I was going to fix at the um, jeweler. <laughs> Come on down, Carol. We'll put you up. You can sleep on my daughter's bed. This one was also $2.99. I, I thought this was a really cool bead. I'm trying to see if, yeah, there we go. So it looks like a birthday cake bead to me, like one of those older with adventurine. And it's, I don't know if it's a hat pin or a stick pin, because it is pretty long. Let me take it off you here. I live legit go every day though, guys. <laughs> um, that is my thing after work. I go to the thrift store. And um, so I stalk them. I go every day. The one lady has my phone number memorized. It's that bad. So I don't know if this is a stick pin or a hat pin. Like it is long enough to be a hat pin. I don't know. But I like the bead. What time is it there for you right now, Bianca? You're in, uh, they, they do all know me. Um, there's one, the new lady who does jewelry does not yet, but she will. So I saw these. <laughs> I, um, well, the problem is it's so close to me. So, um, you know, when you have some place that you find good stuff and it's really close, you you'll go all the time, you know, because it takes me what, half an hour a day to go. So I love these. So again, we're near um, a couple reservations. And also, again, being close to Niagara Falls, one of the things that's always kind of occurred was the Six Nations people have sold things at Niagara Falls to the tourists. So you'll see sometimes um, vintage beaded um, Tuscarora beads. You can always tell the Tuscarora beads because they're kind of raised. Um, but these look older to me. So they're like Indian corn and they're beaded. I'm trying to see if it'll show you because they're really neat. And then this is leather on top of it, like tied for like the horn, corn husks. And I don't know if you guys know anything about um, Native Americans around here. Um, they're called uh, the Three Sisters, um, squash, corn, and beans. And they grow them together because I, I guess the, the nutrients make each other grow. So these are gorgeous, they're all around. So it's not something you probably look at, you know, but I kind of knew what it was because like I said, my, um, my family is Native American, they grew up on the reservation. And so I think these are really neat. So this is kind of what they look like. So I think they're cool. I am, I, I am the crazy savers lady. They, they know me and they actually also know me at my um, Salvation Army as, as the lady who buys the bags. 
because I met the manager the one day and she goes, oh, so this is the infamous Carla who buys all the jewelry bags. Like, yeah, that's me. I, I know, I'm crazy. But they haven't had a bag in a little while, so. And then I got these, $3.99. I can't turn these types down. They are clippies. And they're not missing any rhinestones or anything. But I just, I love these. Because these are like, they're older. Um, I don't know, 50s, 60s probably. In Lucite. And I just, I always love them. They're not marked or anything. But I always just think they're cool. And then I think. So I also have, I have a whole bunch of art footage that I have to go through and edit. I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah, I am bag, bag lady. Yeah. Um, for some yard sales. And uh, I really have to edit some things. I have one from the flea market that I hope everybody likes because I don't, I have problems with my laptop, so I can't really download the music, like how some people have the cute little music in there is when they do it. I know how, but my laptop is just terrible. So, yeah, the corn, that's it. The corn holds up the beans and the squash keeps the weeds away. Yeah, it does work well. Yeah, and it's, if you ever see um, carvings and things like that uh, of the, Haudenosaunee, Six Nations, Natives, um, a lot of them you'll see the corn, the beans, and the squash, and it's it's just beautiful. So when I did uh, yard sailing, I got this, I don't remember if it was $5 or $7, but it is, a, um, I think it's Moonstone, I don't know if it's Moonstone or Labradorite, um, but it's marked 925. And I gotta get, I gotta get a chain for this. I mean, I have a bunch of chains, so I just gotta find one. How's everyone's sales going? Cause mine are really slow, so I'm curious to everybody else if they're also slow or if you guys are selling a bunch. So I also got this. I think this is a resin bangle. It was three ninety nine, but I can. I can't pass these kind of things up ever. It's kind of super 70s to me, I think, like the color scheme wise. Yeah, yours is slow too, Carol. Okay, then maybe it's not just me because I even did the closet clean out today um, on Poshmark yesterday. They extended it to today. I don't know. I, I only have 40 something, 40 something items on Etsy. I'm still working towards that 50. That's my goal. I'm 50. And then I've heard once you get up to 100, you get more sales. Um, I have a lot of stuff. I just, I need to take it. And like I said, we went, we did kind of a staycation yesterday and today, which would have been great times to do photographs and things like that. But I know. And the thing is, so if you do the closet clean out, then you have to go even lower. And I think I have nice items on there. So I don't want to really shortchange myself. And you can only go to the nearest dollar. So um, on Poshmark, like you can't do 50 and you have to do at least 10%. So how many, um, how many listings do you have, Swag? You have 400, close to 400. I gotta get there. So this was $3.99. And you know, I am kind of curious too, if you guys, you know, on my Facebook page or somewhere, you know, sometimes I don't buy certain things and I wonder if other people would get it or pass it up. Um, I think that would be an interesting thing to see. That's something that you saw that was maybe sterling. Um, but you passed it up or something that was gold filled or vintage that you passed up and why? Because I'm always curious as to if I, you know, if I should have grabbed something or not sometimes. So I got this, I thought it was pretty, I bought it because of the baguettes. Is that how you say it? Baguette, 
baguettes. Sounds, sounds like bread. And it says 120th gold filled D or is that PMP or DMP? P and F, I was totally wrong. So I have to look that up because I don't know who P and F are. And then 12 karat gold filled. But I thought that was pretty. And I've heard green does well. And it also has the thing here um, where it can be a pendant too. So that was $3.99. I don't know. Sometimes, like I said, I just, I can't say no to things. So. And then I saw this one, $3.99 at Savers. And I recognized the pattern looked really um, bright and esque to me. And then I, I did a search on bright and ear, hoop earrings or something like that. And these ones came up. So yeah, definitely bright and earrings. For $3.99. So I've got to get these listed on Posh. Baguettes. Ba ba baguettes. <laughs> That's probably not how you pronounce it, unless you're a sheep. Um, and then I saw these ones were $2.99. And I want to show you guys. Oh, oh, there we go. And these are really pretty. Yeah, they're kind of 80s. Um, they're heavy. And I don't know what it is about me lately, but I keep, let's see if it wants to focus. You guys could like, oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is the Swarovski swan. And like I said, I don't know. I have so many Swarovski things that I've found that I need to list and things that are already listed on my Etsy. Um, I know. Like I said, I haven't sold anything, so I don't know. This one I thought was interesting. So it's really kind of substantial. And I had no idea what this was. It was $2.99, but I was like, you know what? That's cool. It's obviously old. And my husband says I got to stop buying stuff just because it's old. He's probably right. But um, when I looked this up, it says fork, fork, over, fork, over. Which is weird, right? And it's got a unicorn. And this is, it has a rollover clasp, but doesn't have the um, C clasp. But look at the. It does have like an older style over here. And it's neat. So when I Googled this, I guess it's a Scottish, um, what do they call them? A Scottish, I don't remember the word. The word is escaping me. Um, not killed. What am I thinking of? It's a group of Scottish people. There's a word for it that I can't think of right now, of course, because I'm on camera. That's why. But um, clan. I think it's clan. Yeah. Any, uh, pick, take your pick. Something like that. But um, I don't think it's a kilt pin because they're usually longer. Um. But I thought this was really cool. Yeah, clan. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, that's the thing. You're on camera and all words escape you. So I thought that was really neat. I'm probably going to list that on Etsy. And I don't know if you can see, too, this is like a belt. So it's got a unicorn and had the belt thing. That was neat. So I got it. Uh, and then this one was $3.99. Um, these ones are actual signed. I'll try to show you guys. I'm really happy that the one dog that we have, um, 
I don't know if you ever have dogs that like bark, 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 bark. And then when you see them, when they're walking them, you're like, oh, so you're the dog that I hear barking all the time, but they're really sweet. So you can't get mad at them, you know? So this is signed Renoir there. Oh, yeah, you guys can probably see it now. They don't go for as much as I thought they would. Um, but I think the copper jewelry is really pretty. So, I don't know. I like it. And these are actually pretty comfortable. I like the tone of, of copper jewelry. I know some people can wear it and some people can't. Like making it green. Um, have you guys found anything fun lately? I'm curious. And then I saw these. I was pretty excited for these. And I went, um, so these were $3.99, again, from Savers. Hey, April. April's got a channel too, Bougie Bear. Like I said, make sure you also, and Dwayne um, has a channel as well for auctions. We're all friends here though, for the most part. So these are Aurora Borealis and there's Sarah Coventry, they're signed here. And these are actually um, a really famous set. Well, I don't know how famous, but um, they are made by d and &E Juliana. And there is a matching brooch. I can't remember. I think it's a full pro set. Um, but I went to the one guy I knew had the brooch. And I should have bought it when I saw it. Because when I went back, it, they were not there. But these are so beautiful. Um, <laughs> Yes, thumbs up. Hi, Lily. Hi, Karen. These ones are the copper ones. I know, I'm really pale. I, I do like the copper with my skin tone, which is nice. But yeah, I love these. These are great. So I was really happy to find these. You can find them for pretty reasonable if you look. They're called the Blue Lagoon set. Um, and... I only knew about these because of that one Sarah Coventry group that I'm in. Um, I'll try to remember to link it down below in the description box later. It's a really great, fun group. And um, the guy who runs it always puts a lot of fun historical information in it. So I loved, loved, loved these ones. Here, I'll take these off because I have more clip-on earrings. And these are all actually very comfortable, believe it or not. And these ones are so beautiful. They were $3.99. Well, those are pretty comfortable too. And they're green. So $3.99. These ones also have baguettes and the green stone. But they are signed. Uh, Jomaz, right? Jomaz, J O M A Z, um, which I think they're associated with Mazer, and um, it's just a, a more famous, famous designer of costume jewelry, and they're older. It only likes it when you sit really, really still on here when it decides to focus. There you go. Aren't those gorgeous? So here, now that it's focused, see if... <laughs> yeah, it's not going to show it to you. But um, yeah, there's a little mark right here. And it's kind of hard to see.
Hey, A. Have you found anything else out on that one um, ring? Curious. Yeah, I love these. These are so beautiful. And they're not missing any stones at all, which is so unusual. These were $2.99. Um, I'm going to put these. I'm So I think I might actually cross post some to Posh and Etsy. I have done one or two. It only likes it when I get really close and then stop moving. <laughs> not that close probably it's not going to show you there we go it's a prayer so did you find out what language it is I didn't take a picture before I sent it we had done a kind of an exchange because um, I know she A. Um, Hammerson she's got a great Etsy shop and we we did kind of an exchange and i know she likes stuff from worldly stuff um so it was we exchanged like a ring that was carnelian and had something on it and she said it's arabic writing it's muslim that's cool so i knew i knew it would go somewhere where she would figure that out faster than i would because i think i think your job is research related right so i thought these were cool um i guess the belt motif has been around for a while so i just thought these would would sell i thought they were cool and i couldn't leave them behind um this one i don't remember how much this one was but it is signed monet with a safety clasp safety chain here and you know me with my um charm bracelets i thought this one was cute too it had a little historian isn't that cool it'd be a fun job i think i can't get it out but it's got a little sister clasp here and a little birthday charm and I think there's room for it to be engraved here. And it's thankfully not engraved. Um, hey, Thelma. I love them too. And then, so this one's, this one's cute. It says my confirmation on it. And then on the back, it's pretty. It's got a little bird. And then on the back, it's dated... 322.76. So I, yeah, I love charm bracelets. They're fun. Um, yeah, so if you want to, don't come to my savers because I see things every once in a while. So this lady was new to doing jewelry. They had just hired somebody. Um, this is not something I normally see, but I spotted this one. $3.99 uh, sitting there. That was pretty. I looked it up. Um, let's see if you guys can see what's actually being behaving today. So it says 14 k right here for $3.99. Like it's a little dated, I think, but I know a lot of people really love hearts and it's it's hollow, so it's not like really, by April, it's not really weighty or anything, but it is pretty. And I think it's made by a certain designer. I can't remember who it was though, but I did see it online and then it, this chain is not gold it is i think it's gold over silver yeah it's 925 jjj but it's pretty especially for 399 
I thought anyway. And also, so these also still remind me of teeth. These were $1.99 and it says sterling on the little thingy. And then I think it said it somewhere else too. I think it says it on the post. Yeah, it says it on the post. So they're kind of cool. Oh, there we go. So they're neat. Definitely worth $1.99. They're not heavy either, but I thought they were fun. Um, and I do some of this sometimes too to see what you guys like. Um, so I kind of know what to pick and what <laughs> what I'm crazy for picking up. Um, so if you guys let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you like and what kind of stuff you would have gotten and if there's anything that you're like no that's not worth it that's interesting and helpful to me too hi karen so this one says 925 ma and i'm um 925 tma thailand just a little little bracelet and it was $3.99. So simple. It's almost simple enough for my daughter to like it. So. Ooh. That can always be a big thing, right? When somebody passes away, people sometimes like to help themselves to things. And uh, it's always nice to have things that remind you. I have my, my grandmother's gold blue topaz uh, tennis bracelet that my mother gave me and her pearls. And that those mean a lot to me because she let me wear those to homecoming. And um, I also wore, <laughs> wore them both on my first wedding. <laughs> but, um, you know, first wedding wasn't all bad. I got my daughter out of it. I was joking with her yesterday that, you know, it was, it was a mistake to marry her dad, but I am very happy that I got my daughter out of it. She's good. Uh, I want gold and diamonds and precious stones, but I get plastic beads. I hear ya. Sterling and white gold, anything with details. Sterling looks really beautiful on um, a lot of people. More charms. Yeah, I have more charms, so that's why I got this one. And again, Monet, like there is no wear to this at all. So their stuff does not age. It's great. My favorite stone, I don't know. I do like blue topaz. I used to love rubies because I am a cancer, um, meaning that my birthday is in July. Um, but I don't know. I just, I guess I had too many people buy me rubies and I just, I don't like them as much. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Thelma's dad left his uh, Rolex to her son. Both of my grandmother's vintage lighters. So it, that's the funny thing too. It doesn't even have to be jewelry. It can be anything. Um, my grand, my sister really wanted these dishes from Japan that my um, grandfather had gotten. There was a cedar chest wardrobe that. Um, I think my brother wanted, I can't remember. Um, my birthday is not yet, it's in 10 days. 71716. So I got these 199. And 
and this one was 539 so i don't know about your goodwills but my goodwills pretty much every necklace is 539 now um every bracelet is 339 or something like that um but so which i kind of think is high i don't know sometimes i think that's 399 is kind of high but it's probably just because i buy so much stuff um oh you're fine you're fine eh yeah, we've been conversing back and forth because I ask her um, questions and things. So this one's marked 925 on the glass pier. I do love green. So this one I thought was really neat. Um, kind of looks artisan made. And it's really pretty. It's got freshwater pearls and some green, different colors of green stones with the pearls. yeah the stones are the hardest part i think and and that's what the clasp looks like a lot of times you can tell something is silver just by looking at the clasp and how um expensive it looks but yeah this one i thought was really pretty i loved it i like green Yeah, my daughter doesn't like anything. That's really sweet of you, but oh my goodness, I can't buy, I don't buy my daughter anything. She doesn't like anything. <laughs> she like never steals anything of mine. Um, she likes things that are really, really, really simple and that's it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have that problem with your children, but you can't buy her clothes unless it's just like a simple shirt, even certain she likes nike certain nike things are like oh that's old like how how does something that just says nike look new or old i don't get it i don't get it children uh this one i paid 4.99 for i think it's gold over sterling yeah it says 925 on it in more than one spot so it says 925 here and on this thing here. Awesome, Karen. Are you gonna show us what you found in it? You know, we all wanna see. Cause we all love jewelry except for Dwayne. He's just here to support, which is awesome. So I thought this would be nice for some of the pendants that I have. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Her name is Kayla, but. I don't know. She's hard to buy for. And this one was $3.39. I got to take the tag off of it. Only one less jewelry. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have kept going. <laughs> Mine likes sports. She's sporty. My sporty spice. We did get our, like, we got uh, pedicures today. So she does like that. And she likes makeup and things she just likes really simple jewelry but thank you very much for um suggesting it and thinking of her i think that's very sweet she does sometimes like even if she doesn't wear something she's actually very sentimental so she will keep things so she still had, um, well, I stole it from her to do a video, but she had the brooch, brooch bouquet that um, I made in her room too. Thank you. I need to redo them. I, I just don't want to do a Manny and Petty because that would have been too expensive. So let's see, just got the thing on here. But um, I think this is like over copper, some information, um, some, uh, artisan made type as well over copper and I thought those were really neat and they'd be really cool as earrings I don't have much left I'm almost done but again I thought it would just be easier to come on do my first live after getting monetized and it's been a while as well 
Um, and it's just a nice Friday, so I thought it would be nice to come on and, and share with you guys. You guys always uh, make me smile. Um, you know, every once in a while, I get sad and depressed for no reason. Um, and, you know, it's always nice to put up a video or do a video and connect with all of you guys. And it always makes me feel better. So thank you guys for all the, the thumbs up and the comments and subscribing. All of that stuff is, it's just, it's nice. And, you know, makes me feel connected. My daughter is also very sporty too. She has an 18 month old who likes all the blingy stuff. You know what? I think maybe we'll see. Cause I always loved reading too. You can see all my books that I have up there too. And that is not even a half of it. Um, I love reading. My daughter doesn't. I love jewelry. My daughter doesn't. Um, we both like, like makeup though. So we have that in common. So I don't see a signet like anything on here, but I think this is sterling. Um, I've never quite seen anything like this. Here, I'll show you guys. It looks like a bike chain almost with freshwater pearls in it. It is very strange. And this one right here is missing something so it's kind of like broken but and then this one looks bent or something but I've never seen anything like this that's okay Thelma I know YouTube is weird sometimes it doesn't give you the notifications and sometimes it notifies you of people that you've unsubscribed to I swear well, it's not the pearl itself. So the way that it's in there is like this weird, weird thing here. Like they're all in there by this weird little thing. It's very strange. I've never quite seen anything like this. Um, so I had to get it. And I think, let's see, I think it might be a choker. Yeah. See? I've never quite seen a necklace like this. I don't know if any of you guys have. It's a little tight. It's not too, too bad. It might be twisted on part of it. But, yeah, I thought that was interesting. I always put it up higher, too, right? go like that oh it falls <laughs> but i thought this was this was different i haven't really ever seen anything like that before and it's just that one that's kind of broken yeah i'll i'll have to put a picture on my facebook um or my instagram and show how it's constructed because it's pretty neat. Like I said, I've never really seen anything quite like this. That would drive, yeah. It, it is kind of, it's neat though. I think this one, it, it stops there. And I think there might be something here. But yeah, it is kind of like Victorian Gothic kind of almost um steampunk too right I, th I think it's yeah really reminds me of kind of steampunky with the soft and the hard together because it looks like a bicycle chain um but i thought that was really cool so i figured i would take a chance on it and then in my last thing i bought because of sally <laughs> um I don't know if this is restrung or what, but I thought it was so weird. It's a good thing I'm going because I don't know what that noise is. Um, 
these are real tiger's eyes and then faux pearls pretty sure they're faux pearls yeah faux pearls and then the clasp says Kobe on it and it's one of those weird ones I don't know if you guys have ever seen a clasp like this let's see if I can show you I wish I had control over like the focus on on these does not want to cooperate, but you like push it down in order to open it up. So it's got an odd clasp on it. I don't know if you guys can see, you push it down and take it out and then it's kind of open like that. And then you put it in and pull it back up. I've never really seen tiger's eyes with pearls, so I thought it was different. So that's, oh, and I did, I did get this too, because I couldn't not get this. <laughs> this was $4. <laughs> and it's from, it's got a thing from the cat lady. So apparently it's from the cat lady box, which I would totally get my husband, but he's not a lady. We really need to make a cat man box too. But uh, yeah, double sided. <laughs> I thought it was crazy. There's all kinds of different cats in here, even like the hairless ones. Yeah, Jimmy could put his brooches in here, right? He could store his brooches in here for overflow. <laughs> But I thought it was so cute, so I had to get that. All right, so like I said, if you guys would help me out by putting in the comments or wherever, you know, what kinds of things you guys like. Um, if there's anything that you wouldn't buy that you would have left behind, I think that's in good, good information for me to know. Um, just because I'm still new to selling and I, you know, my stuff hasn't been selling that much. Um, but again, I'm also not listing that much. I need to list it, list more. So um, I like Dwayne to keep me honest because he always keeps me to my goals there. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this, so this one was that one that was out of the jar too, by the way. Um, I think it's the un unsung hero of that jar, too. Because I think it's really neat. It's got the magnetic clasp here, but these are crystals. They are just, it's gorgeous. I love this. <laughs> so uh, I'll leave the dog purses then for Angie so she can get them. <laughs> Dwayne doesn't like cats or his jewelry, but he still watches my channel. That tells you what a great friend Dwayne is. But yeah, this one is really well made too. It's like really heavy and it was shining in the light. Um, it was really beautiful. So, um, but the other one was Kenneth J. Lane, I guess, designed um, China bracelet, bangle. Um, yeah, so maybe I will just, so I did, I do have, um, at least 50 items. I think I have like 60 items on Poshmark, um, just because it's so easy to list on Poshmark. It's, it's great. And that's what I love about it. Um, where Etsy, like I just, I pay more attention. It's almost like I am curating my photos. Um, so I really actually like showing people my Etsy because I just, I like, <laughs> I like the, the way that I have my, my pictures. Um, you and I jewelry, is that a brand, Lily? I don't, you know, there was one that I, I was trying to find to art, 
Um, and he's really hard to find his stuff because you can't just search art um, on Etsy or Google even because it'll give you stuff that is not the art brand jewelry. So yeah, some people are pretty difficult to, to search. Etsy is more work than Posh, I think so too, but the, um, I think the percent that they take is less, right? Um, and you do pay the 20 cents, which is difficult when you're not selling anything and you're starting up, um, because the 20 cents to list can really add up. I do have a code. I don't know what it is. You have to find it and it's in a weird spot, but there is a code to get free listings if you um, don't have a store already. And I didn't do it right. You have to click that link in order to, to do it. Um, otherwise it doesn't work. So I, I like, um, I like the shipping on Poshmark. Like I said, it's easy. Um, I think it's interesting to to talk as sometimes people have different um, things that you wouldn't think about uh, why one platform is is good for certain things because that's the thing sometimes too, right? Posh is great for for modern things. I get a lot of modern things even even in this hall that I. I couldn't pass up that I can't put on Etsy. So I do like having my Poshmark there for like even, um, I think Brighton might be too new for Etsy. I can't remember, but you know, this is a gorgeous bracelet. I don't know if I'll wear it or sell it, but you know, if I want to post this, I can't do it on Etsy because it's too new. So yeah. And that's the thing. I think, um, you might you have much more of a store feeling on Etsy, um, which I like. Um, very few. Vin I don't love that they let the newer um, mass-produced stuff on there. Um, I think whenever you search on Etsy, you have to put vintage on there, or else you will get a lot of things that are not vintage that come up, and even sometimes. They'll put vintage style or vintage inspired. So they come out too. All right. Well, I am going to log off because, you know, it is actually nice outside. So everyone's going to do their lawns and it's going to get really loud. Um, but thank you, Dwayne and Carol, for your super chats. That's so awesome that I finally get to be like everybody else in the big leagues and get that again not that we ever asked nobody ever asked for it we just always i think I, i'm speaking for myself I, it, it's just awesome so i really appreciate it um what kind of oh i think that's a question for Dwayne. yeah ebay i just i don't know i don't know why i'm i can't uh I can only manage two stores at the most. And I only have the two stores because I can't have the one store, <laughs> you know, cause I get the modern stuff that I have to put somewhere else. So I don't think I could do three. <laughs> so that's why right now we're going to stick with those two for now, but thank you guys for joining me and uh, I will see you guys all in my next video and probably at Dwayne's auction tomorrow. I think there is an auction tomorrow. So Thanks for joining. Bye, guys.